Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia Season 5 episode number 6. Alright, the previous episode we started a new match. Uh, it was uh, Momo's team versus Kendo's team. And we uh, saw the power of a new character. His name was Kuro Iro. And he has an interesting power which is like getting into like you know kind of meshing himself with and fusing with dark places which made it extremely vulnerable for um tokoyami because you know his dark shadow is a perfect place for him to like get into and stuff happened and we kind of saw tokoyami's not backstory as per se it was like a little flashback to when he did the internship and hawks trained him and like we saw how he is you know using his technique to fly using his quirk to fly and you know and uh like they were only kind of focusing on kuroiro and none of the other teammates were shown class beats teammates so obviously like they were like planning something and by the end of it we see like their plan is kind of like starting where like the mushroom girl i don't know her name she started making mushrooms and stuff and you know like kendo is waiting for momo so let's see how what happens who will win i'm i'm quite curious about this because in i think like maybe class b will win this i'm not sure let's see let's see what happens so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number six of my hero academia season five so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here send it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. Oh my god. Here he is. Why are the... Oh, I thought... <laughs> okay, this is a recap. I was thinking, why is he here? Alright. Yep, the first was a uh, match won by Shinzo. One point for eight team, and there's the second battle. So I'm not sure. I think maybe Class B will win this. Let's see. Anything can happen. I'm not sure. <laughs> the way he screamed at this moment was like Dark Fallen Angel. <laughs> All right. Hmm. So how many matches are left? Uh, we have Todoroki's team left and Deku's team. So I'm guessing two more matches or three matches. So like if it is two matches, then we'll probably take uh like this episode will be used in that this match. So two four or five more episodes I think it will take. For the whole match to end and I'm not sure how much how many episodes will Deku's match take because I'm guessing that will be like the grand finale or something You know And Bakugo's match will also be something to watch. I'm, I'm looking forward to that as well <laughs> Okay
Ok. Piu, 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 piu. Hmm. Damn. Yeah. Who knows? Let's see. Let's wait for it. No co shroom. Damn. This girl like is making mushrooms everywhere. Ha! <laughs> Foresight. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, oh my god! The infestation of mushrooms! Oh. Oh my god. What is she spraying? She's spraying. Yeah, she's spraying uh, like, what do you call them? In insecticides or something. She mage. She mage. Oh, those baby spores. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Horror movie. Where have I heard that voice? Kirito. He does voice actor. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, what is that? <laughs> it's Kuroiro. Hmm. But if that then doesn't work, this plan. <laughs> yeah, one plan, if it doesn't work, then another one. Is there a plan C as well? I'm guessing there must be. Okay, what? Oh, so everyone has their... Ha! <laughs> Can't, like, Momo make something to, like, stop this? Like, you know, this whole... In what the? What the? Is this the other guy? The ma mang manga type of? Yeah. Oh, the is this some kind of voice magic? Comic man. Oh! <laughs> Wow, that's... <laughs> oh, this is unique. Damn. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's a human. <laughs> Damn, this is really a horror movie. Oh, God. 
Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even Todoroki is like. Oh. Huh. <laughs> He's taking notes. Oh. Maybe. Like, Momo, Squirk is really powerful in a way. Like, she's intelligent and at the same time, she, her Quirk is quite powerful, you know? Okay. But you know, one versus one is a bit difficult for her. Especially Kendo is like a physical battle type, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh god yeah yeah that's like a big disadvantage like she needs food But let's see, like, she must have some kind of counter plan. Well, Momo is also like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, like she like outsmarted uh, Eraserhead in a way, you know. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's see. Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, now what? What the? What is that? What? Oh my god. Oh, oh she, she was... Stalling for time, okay. She was stalling for time, uh, like you know, kind of like blocking it. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh! <laughs> that name. Oh! Oh my god. Yeah, this is really some kind of like. <laughs> these are not. What, what can I say? This is like annoying type of magic. Uh, not magic, sorry. Uh, quirks. Like, you know, it's, it's going to like, make it problematic for you. Oh my god, Hulk! Wow. 
<laughs> yeah. Komori and Fukidashi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she she brought out a whole cannon. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think <laughs> I don't think that will use live ammunition or something. Um Okay, that might be it. What? Oh my god, the recoil. Wait, what is that? Some smoke signal. Oh, the smoke, smoke signal or something. What the? Oh no, that's not a smoke signal. What is that? Lucky bag? <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> Aoyama got caught. Wh why is he like doing, like acting like that? Does he like her or something? Is that it? Like, why, is, why is he talking like that? What? Oh my god, damn. <laughs> oh, the what is that? Ethanol? Six, okay. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, I agree. <laughs> he, she took off her gloves and shoes. <laughs> yeah, she took off her gloves and shoes. Oh, damn, it has some kind of. Wow. Tom and strength. Oh, great. Speed beats strength. Yeah, you know, if you're speedy enough, you can do anything. Whoa! <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh damn! Oh damn! Ha! <laughs> he caught him like this. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, they got two of them. Now, like, you know? But Kendo is still there. Momo might get caught now. I I'm not sure. Oh no. Oh no! It's... Yeah, she's doing something. Oh no, some kind of poisonous... Oh! That's nasty! Some sports getting into your lungs? <laughs> oh no, Kendo is here as well. Oh, she got her. What? What is that? Yeah, what is that? Oh, damn! Oh no, yeah, they probably are going to lose. Oh no, yeah, I kind of thought this was going to happen. Yeah, they lost, I'm guessing. Damn, I feel bad, like, you know, like... Yeah, you also did. S oh no! Yeah. B wins. Yeah, like she again. Oh god, this is. What the hell at midnight? <laughs> what the hell? I really feel bad about this, you know, because like after she did like everything, she's okay. Damn, they were unable to capture even one of them. Like, that's the, like, biggest regret I have. Like, they could have, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what I feel really bad about? As I said, like, even after so much, so many things, like, after, like, trying so much, uh, like, Momo, still, like, was unable to stop them. And another thing that I really feel bad about is that if they would have been able to capture at least one, you know, it would have still been, I kind of, I could have been like, you know, content with it. But they were unable to capture even one, like they were almost able to capture them, like two of them at the same time. But like, you know, the last, like the last push, they were un unable to kind of do that. And even like after seeing like you know the flashback of how Yao Yorozu kind of like felt after she lost that uh, the whole you know tournament where like she and Tokoyami fought you know and like kind of you know trying to be better than that she kind of like made all of these plans and kind of tried to surpass herself her past self still it was a little bit short like you know that's what I feel really bad about. Like, I don't know, I, I, I really hope she gets, like, you know, 
her like you know win that one win that she like tried so hard for and okay that's it and as like todoroki said that i hope you don't discourage get discouraged by by this because i also think like you know like it's kind of like she is losing like time after time the whole thing with uh, in the tournament and then this so that's why i really felt bad about it and like they had like you know uh I don't know maybe like you know this uh, this another thing like uh, the compatibility between uh, like you know people you're fighting with like uh, the powers of the enemy team were really compatible with each other uh, like you know as like as we saw like uh, first the whole like um, what was his name Kuroiro like he was kind of distracting them in the like in his own way and tried to like you know go and like stealthily and capture uh, one of the teammates he failed but still it excuse me <clears throat> acted as a good um what do you call it distraction and by that time they were kind of making another plan and their plan like you know their teammates were quite compatible with each other and uh, like you know they their uh, com like you know their enemies that is momo's team I think like there was also another type of a compatibility between them like, you know in which the team b was superior to them like the way they use their power is like uh how like what was her name Ko komori the, the mushroom girl or oh I, I can't remember i need to start remembering these names anyways the mushroom girl was it komori or kinoko kinoko means mushroom i know that but uh, cannot remember anyways like the, the mushroom girl she like uses used her power to kind of like you know make these kind of mushrooms and hagakure is like quirk kind of became useless in front of that because all the mushrooms were kind of covering her and like you know you can like see her like that so that kind of nullified her uh, quirk in a way and <clears throat> Uh, the mushroom girl she like you know like covered the whole place up with mushrooms and uh Kuroiro kind of got into that and kind of you know uh, went into camouflage and that's how like they missed capturing uh Kuroiro where even uh, like you know they had a better chance of capturing them even though they had a, a, such an amazing chance to capture them and after that they kind of do this whole thing with um what's his name uh the manga uh quirk uh student the the the, the guy I'm, I'm guessing that's a male uh he uses his like quirk to like you know make these kind of his quirk is quite interesting like he kind of it's like sign kind of like a voice magic like where he kind of like speaks out the sound effects and everything and they kind of come into life and you know and then they like kind of use that to their advantage as well and they were like all like uh what can i say like kind of hiding and using their power like their attacks like powers were long ranged and like that's what happened like you know most of their powers except like kendo and uh kuroiro kuroiro's power was a little bit of an like you know kind of, what can you say uh type of a ninja type of a power you know like getting into the like dark potions and kind of going and sneaking on people and that and obviously the kendo's power is full-on physical power so yeah that was basically it their powers were really like mismatched like momo got into a fight with um kendo you know which is extremely disadvantages for momo because momo is the brains and she is kind of the support character like if, if you put a support character in front of a physical type dps which was kendo obviously the support characters would be like you know will fi find it like extremely like disadvantageous and that's what happened like kendo kind of like you know defeated her so quickly because of that even though momo tried so much and another one is like the compatibility between like the mushroom girl the um what do you call it uh, the manga uh, guy and uh, like tokoyami and uh, aoyama and Hagakure like you know they were kind of like uh, using long range attacks whereas Hagakure uh, Tokoyami and Aoyama in a way like Aoyama is a ranged attacker 
but like you know excluding him uh, tokoyami and hagakure they are like close like you know close uh, like you know close uh, what do you call that uh, close com combat uh, what is that term i forgot that term close range combat yeah they like do close range combat so like unless and until they were able to go in front of them they won't be able to do anything so that's why like the long range attack was extremely effective towards them that happened and by the time that tokoyami went there and got in front of like you know the mushroom girl and the uh, and uh, kuroiro like he one shotted those two like that's what i was saying like you know if they were in front of each other tokoyami and like hagakure would have easily won but their advantage was because like they were using all of these things in long range and another thing worked to their advantage is because they did not know their power properly like as like you know as the guy from uh, class b said like tokoyami should have knocked her unconscious but because he did not know what her power could actually do he just captured them and thought that okay like i'll take them to the prison and he did not know that like the mushroom girl had this type of a power which also again caught him off guard so the compatibility was very difficult like you know it was very advantageous for class b and that's how like you know they kind of coordinated did their teamwork that they're like you know like like so many like you know kind of like worked together and was able to defeat class uh, a so like you know like all, this is the kind of thing like that happens like even though the raw power i think the raw power uh, was kind of similar because tokoyami was kind of uh, as i said like a physical type of a attacker and hagakure was also kind of like that Mm, even though like uh, like they had these type of people with them class a and at the same time uh, in class b there was kendo and um and the long range attackers uh, the mushroom girl the manga guy and the, the like you know stealth attacker uh, kurohiro and we had Ayo aoyama so like even though like so there were so many people and we had momo who was like the support character like it did not work properly the matchup was kind of like that so they were able to like you know like this is also part of battle like battle like fighting is not like you know so simple like it's not that two plus two is equal to four like that's not fighting sometimes weird things come into the whole battle like you know like making strategies the compatibility working with what you have like so many things like like you know like if if you have like some kind of like extremely overpowered like physical attacker they might lose to some like you know very like underpowered uh long range attacker you know like someone can just snipe them from a distance and they won't be able to do anything like that's basically it so this is what happened like uh you know like this is this was basically a like full-on like battle of wits in a way like at least uh for momo because she used her brains to do like you know stuff she made all of these all, all these kind of plans and stuff but unfortunately uh like kendo's team was a little bit like you know what can i say like kind of surpassed them in even in that department like they made their strategy they made a proper strategy they studied their enemies and kept their trump card hidden you know that uh, mushroom girl she kept her trump card hidden and when like everything was almost going to end she used that trump card and completely turned around the whole situation and kendo also did her own thing so yes unfortunate but you know like this is what happens like fighting like it's just like this like you cannot calculate that oh this guy's more powerful this guy will win that's not how it works a lot of things the environment uh, the strategies the teammates and the enemies all of these things comes into factor in an actual battle and that's how like you know like uh, class b1 and class a was a little short you know they almost got them but they were a little bit short and i really feel bad for momo like i really don't know how she will take this like obviously like she knows fate like you know she knows uh like she had like tasted failure before in like you know the whole uh, uh tournament as well so I'm sure she will take this a lot better than when she took this during the tournament. And I'm sure like she won't get discouraged. She will try better and try to, you know, kind of surpass her own self 
in the future battles i really hope like you know she takes this positively and does not become like you know kind of depressed and all so i don't think she will become depressed like you know she knows that like getting depressed and kind of wallowing in self pity won't help so she is definitely going to take you know kind of learn from this learn from today's battle and try something you know better in the future and yeah so this battle ended and so in the next uh in the next episode i'm guessing we're going to see another battle like uh probably i i don't know like maybe we're going to see bakugo's battle or todoroki's battle either one of them like whichever it is it will be great because obviously like i'm, I'm really looking forward to bakugo's battle <laughs> you know uh i want to see how he works with his teammates you know <laughs> that's one thing that i really want to see uh so yeah and <clears throat> yeah that's it and uh, that's what that was this episode let me just check if i missed something or not and like momo knew that if she was like you know like if she was somehow cornered she won't, like and kendo came in front of her she won't be able to win she knew that so you know like that was like a big disadvantage that she faced she tried she tried to stop kendo like you know using those like uh, what what was those things those like uh, those like ropes those were ropes weren't they yeah using those ropes and everything and like kind of like entangling herself with her but still like she like you know still was able to kind of go and reach the and help her teammates i'm talking about kendo uh, she was still able to even with those rope attached to herself she was able to <coughs> excuse me go to their te uh, her teammates aid and yeah like i don't know like even if like she was did not reach there i'm i'm, I'm guessing like probably hagakure could have like knocked out that manga guy and that would have been it because like you know tokoyami got like those spores in his in her in his lungs so tokoyami probably won't be able to do anything and you know tokoyami would also be captured and it will be like you know only hagakure versus uh uh what was her uh, like the mushroom girl um kuroido and kendo you know like three versus one like that would have been impossible so they would have like diff like lost anyways even if like kendo did not come and help um uh the like you know stopped uh, hagakure like they would have like won by default because to like tokoyami kind of uh you know like getting like captured like he would have obviously gotten captured at that moment like tokoyami kind of getting captured would have sealed the like you know fate because momo is unconscious and what would hagakure do in front of three like you know three uh, three of them like it will be like three versus one so that would have been a real problem and either way they would have won like team b so yeah like good like you know good match i have to say like uh kendo as kendo said like uh, after like seeing such an amazing uh like you know effort and such an amazing battle it doesn't feel like a one like you know like they were almost going to lose like they like barely like barely touched the finish line and like that's how much of uh like you know competition they had to go through and they could have lost like it was just a matter of like you know knowing your enemy because like uh tokoyami did not know that his enemy had that power like in, in my opinion the real mvp is the mushroom girl you know like because her that that one trump card that she used sealed the whole like sealed the deal like sealed the whole uh outcome of the match and like in like you know kind of defeating tokoyami was like the biggest thing that she could have done and she did it like if tokoyami was still okay they could have probably like you know team a could have probably turned the whole thing around even though momo was kind of captured they could have done something so yeah like like good job that uh the mushroom girl uh you know i have to check their names again like i've completely 
Komori. Her name was Komori, wasn't it? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, her name is Komori. So yeah, like props to her. Like she really like, like what can I say? Like she carried the match in the end. Like you know, she she used that ultimate trump card, and that was it. That sealed the whole outcome. But this is like you know, like they understood what her like power is. Like the information is with them now. The all like in subs in in the future battles, if they have any other battle, like, you know, against her. Like they will be uh, like, you know, uh, they will make the strategy kind of factoring that. Yeah, she has this type of a power and it will be a lot more difficult to like, you know, use that power again. Like the other people will be a lot more like conscious and a lot, lot more. Um, what can I say? Vigilant. Like that's why, like, you know, like all these heroes kind of try like to make some new moves because like as soon as your moves are like everyone knows your moves it will be a difficult battle so that's why like they try to like kind of convert their move into a different move make some new like attack on something and they try to keep like you know changing and changing so that the like you know they can get that surprise factor and win the battles so yeah so yeah guys that was it this was episode number six of my hero academia season five so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and be sure to comment down below if you want to say anything i'll check them all out so thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my hero academia so until then goodbye and have a nice day